Okay, here we are. So we're doing a uh, a lockdown tour. I'm on um, come on teaching duty. So kids, what are we learning today? We're learning how to what buy houses. I don't know. We're learning how to buy houses. Buy. <laughs> learning to buy houses, Elsie. Is Peter learning as well? Yeah, Peter's Pete? learning. <laughs> so we're. Um, Serious point. I've got a, I've got a, a, a call on this one. We, we've got. Um, I normally send a structural surveyor out to this one. Why don't you guys go and measure every room and write it down on the viewing sheet? Will you get that done for me? The good lad. You got a pencil. You got a clipboard. Got a tape measure. They're on it. Good. I'm teaching them the uh, the golden calculation as well. How to how to work out what it's worth. I've done comparables this morning. He's eight, he's got to start learning. Elsie's six, I think she's six. I don't know, I'll lose track. Um, yeah, go on, serious point. There's no electricity, so if I open the door, that's all we're gonna get light-wise. Great big crack, here we go, look. And um, you, you normally say, if you, you, know, if, you, if you can't put your fist in it, it's, uh, it's, not, worth, it's not worth talking about. But actually, this one, it, it, it is, because it's actually been filled up again, it filled up, look. And uh, it's opened up a bit again. Um, no structural surveyors working at the moment, not not long that I uh, get out, so it was me that comes around. Now, whenever some, a client, I'll go into the light so we can sort of see a bit. Whenever a client would buy a property, um, we'd always say get a structural survey, but I'm gonna buy this one myself and I'm happy to do my own structural survey. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what's, what's happened. And if I'm wrong, the fix actually, well, I'll tell you about the fix in a minute. You can see there's a rear extension. Come on, see if I can, there you go, rear extension. There's evidence down there on the floor where the drains are that um, uh, the drains have been repaired recently. When I say recently, you know, the concrete looks like it's sort of five, at least five years old, maybe, maybe a bit older, but um, reasonably recently. So uh, for me, I think that uh, the drains have leaked and that rear extension sort of rotated away from the building and it's caused a crack. There's one upstairs, one downstairs. Now, um, that's the kind of thing that if you can't get a, a sort of succinct answer to it, it's going to put a lot of people off buying the house. How are we doing? Good. Good. Are you measuring? Elsie's not doing it. You've got to, you've got to measure all the rooms. You need, to, you need to hold one end of the tape measure and I need, I need the room measurements. It's not going to work otherwise. Come on. Knuckle down to some work. Come on. You just want to be on here? Okay, well you come and sit on here then. While we, let, let's go in this room, because otherwise I was just about to come in. Yeah, um, I might need to edit that bit out. Honestly, probably won't, so. Right, can we, you can come sit here then. So what I was saying was, I've forgotten completely what I was saying. The crack, to fix it, um, to, get, to get a structural surveyor out here would be, to look at that crack probably, 500 pounds to 800 pounds, depending who we call out. I'm very confident I know what it is. It's a terraced house. Um, all the other terraced houses are um, standing up straight. We'll get the- We do know how to um, save the crack. We do, do we do know how to? Do we know how to fix it or not? Don't know. I think I do know how to fix it. I'm just telling them how to fix it, I think, okay? So, um, yeah, it would cost us about £800 to get a surveyor out, maybe. Some people would definitely pay more. It's the kind of thing that's going to put people off buying this house. Uh, and it would also put some, some investors off. Um, to fix the problem, if I had to dig all those drains up and replace them, forget trying to repair them or anything else, just budget to replace the whole lot. I could probably do that for about £1,000 on this kind of property. So um, I've also got the feeling that it might already have been fixed. Why else would there be some uh, new concrete on there? So I'm going to risk it. I'm going to buy the property. Um, bear in mind, we're going to buy it for £40,000. I'm actually going to buy it for £39,999 um, because it's a pound off stamp duty. So there's not even any stamp duty on here. I'm not going to have any more survey than just getting my eyes on it. And I'm pretty confident that if we put what's known as heli bars, so we'll strip the all that wall off. Of spiders. It has got a few spiders, but most of them are dead, aren't they now? Good, good. Um, can you now go and wear, work out the square footage of the entire place now, please? Square footage? Yeah. What's that? Sorry, square meterage. Times all the meters by all the meters and work out how many square meters. I'll do it in square feet back later. Um, yeah, so I'm going to buy it. 
And uh, I'm, I'm not even going to bother getting the survey because I'm, I think that the fix is pretty much the same cost as the uh, as the survey. So we'll do that. If if I'm wrong, um, then the extra um, might only be sort of five hundred pounds. So I might as well just do that. Uh, heli bars, is what I was talking about there. Strip off all the uh, the plaster, reveal the bricks, and put uh, strengthening bars in to um, you know just stop it moving again along existing existing fault lines in in future uh, if it were to settle ever so slightly again um which yeah all properties are, are settling all the time so i think that's the fix um like i say thirty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pounds i don't think i can go far wrong um this one's renting out for about 450 475 pounds as well so um I was going to say deals like this don't come along very often, but uh, they do like three or four times a week at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're, we're making hay while the sun shines out here, um, mixing up uh, business with pleasure because it's always a, yeah, it's always nice to have the kids with us. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll get this one done. Hopefully that's been useful. Looking at properties that other people perhaps wouldn't buy, you know, cracks, things that um, yeah, structural problems. You know, all houses that are built from the ground up. And anything that is a problem can be fixed, of course. It can just be rebuilt. Now, you've got to get a property at the right price to factor all that in. But, uh, um, yeah, it's always worth looking. Hope that message wasn't too garbled with all the kids interrupting it. So, have a nice day, everybody. Right, another little thing I've noticed here, which um, it, the, the lighting is going to be terrible, right down in the cellar. Um, so I just looked on the fuse board and I noticed something called a water pump, which in a house like this would be unusual just to have a, um, cheers up, good, good call. So there, look, I'm down in the cellar. No no big shakes this at all, but it's worth knowing that it's, um, it is here. Um, so a manhole has been put in. There's a sump pump in there and it's all, um, you can see, let me, yeah, go down now. Um, so, so water would just go there. This cellar obviously floods at some point, and uh, you can see it just gets pump, pumped outside. You're right. Um, yeah. So I just noticed on the on the fuse board that that was there, and it just you know, that looks a bit unusual. What is that? Had a little little, little look around. Pardon? <laughs> is it dinner time? No, it's not quite dinner time. Um, so yeah, worth noting. Um, no problem. I mean, any any. You're allowed some fruits. Yeah, let's go. We'll go back to the car and get some in a minute. Um, Battery. So, I've forgotten completely what I was saying. Um, sump pump, yes. Not a big deal. Uh, but it's worth knowing it's there. If a cellar floods, that's not a problem in terms of rental. It's, uh, yeah, we, we, we say as soon as that door's closed, and I mean that door, that door there, that's outside, you know, so uh, don't store anything down there that, uh, that, that would get wet. It's well ventilated. It's almost open to the out, outdoors, really, because there's several there's sort of big vents in there. Um, pardon? Please subscribe. Yeah. We should say, we should say, please subscribe. So uh, if you could now press the button to, sub to subscribe, that'd be great. Arthur would be very pleased, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what normal Minecraft YouTubers say? Hi. Oh. Subscribe to the comment button. They also see. Oh, he's 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 a load better at this than I am already. So uh, yeah, please subscribe, and uh, hopefully that was useful. <laughs>